guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is natalie and today we are at home goods and we are here to check out if they have anything good for summer 2022 so let's get right into it so the first thing i saw when i walked in were these mid-century style kitchen counter stools now i've been seeing this style of counter stools uh, quite a lot this year they have this sort of half moon shaped armrest uh, with this sort of wishbone back um, I've seen them a lot in a natural wood finish I had never seen them in white so I wanted to show you guys what these look like The next thing I saw was this Sherpa storage bench. I really love this for the foot of a bed. I love that it has storage so you can store your extra blankets inside or any other clutter in your bedroom that you may want to hide away. Um, if you have the space for a bench like this in front of uh, at the end of your bed, I definitely recommend it. I think it just elevates any bedroom 100%. And if you didn't already know, Kane Furniture has definitely been having a moment. Here at Home Goods, I saw they had these two uh, cane chairs. And then behind that, they had what looked like buffet tables. They had a rounded one. And then they had another one that had more of a rectangular shape. And then on the side, they had these sort of half moon shaped uh, nightstands. Or it could also be side tables on the side of your uh, sofa in the living room. Uh, definitely nice pieces if you're into that new caning trend and you don't necessarily want to break the bank at the high-end stores. Frame textiles are another new trend that I've been seeing quite a lot lately. Home Goods did come through again with this one because these can go for hundreds of dollars. This one here looked like a rug that had been framed. I do love how much texture and interest these can bring into your space. And I think it's a unique and one of a kind way to add some variety to your wall decor. stopped and looked at this basket because it reminded me of the infamous Serena and Lily basket that we've all seen all over Instagram and Pinterest. I think this basket is really cute but I love that here at Home Goods they have it for $49.99 and then the one on the Serena and Lily website is $98. So huge difference in price. Uh, this basket is really cute. You can put it in a kid's room to hide toys, uh, stuffed animals, or put it in your living room to throw your throw blankets inside. I think it's just a cute way to hide any clutter that you don't want to show. And you guys run, don't walk to home goods because they have these matted picture frames that I thought were beautiful. Um, gallery walls have been really trendy lately and honestly this is a trend that I'm here for. I love the gallery wall trend. Um, I do know that they can be very expensive when you buy all the frames individually. I did it that way and um, let's just say yeah, those, those, those frames aren't going anywhere for a while after what I paid for them. I think it was maybe 20 something dollars for each and I have about six. So these here come in a set. They came in a set of three of a 12, 12 by 12 size for $24.99 and then they also came in a set of nine for $69.99 also in the size 12 by 12. They had them in black, gold, and then also in a natural wood finish. 
Uh, you can put gallery walls anywhere, in your living room, in your bedroom, in a hallway. My personal favorite is in the dining room. I think there's nothing more chic than just having a nice gallery wall right in front of your dining room table. So definitely something that you might want to snatch up. I don't know who needs to hear this, but bust sculptures are back. And honestly, they've become one of my favorite accessories. I think you put this in a built-in shelf, on an entryway table, or even on a TV console if your TV's mounted, and you have instantly elevated your space. And honestly, given that uh, busts are generally on the taller side and they're usually made of stone or marble, they actually also add some height and texture that may be missing from your usual display. I love that Home Goods always has decorative boxes. Um, and every time I come, I find them with different patterns, different colors, different textures. These are great. You can never go wrong with having a couple of these around. You can put them on a coffee table to hide your remote, on a console table, on an entryway table to hide keys. Um, they're just a great way to just hide little knickknacks around the house. It looks like pompous grass is not going anywhere anytime soon so if you've always wanted an arrangement and you've just never been able to get your hands on one I think these from home goods are great just because number one they are a faux pompous so you won't have to worry about all the shedding and then also they already come in a vase so you don't have to worry about going and finding the perfect vase for it if you don't like the white you can always paint this to match your decor uh, and honestly, I think pompous grass is never going to go out of style just because it's similar to a flower arrangement, but it's neutral enough to go with just about any color palette and style. And I just love the way that it just brings a calming texture and natural element to a space. And for that reason, I don't think it'll ever go out. I think it's here to stay. Let me know down below in the comments, are you tired of the pompous grass thing? Is it too much? It's everywhere? Or are you still loving this trend? Whether you are into farmhouse, traditional, boho, or modern decor, I think that wooden beads and links Add a touch of style to pretty much every spot that they grace. You can drape these on a tray, on a stack of coffee table books, and they instantly add an interesting natural element to an otherwise boring spot. Now these could get a little bit pricey when you get them from the high-end home decor stores. So accessories like these, you're always better off getting from stores like Home Goods, um, especially when you consider that they pretty much just are a bunch of beads on a string. You don't want to be overpaying for that kind of thing. And last but not least guys, I love decorating with geodes and I love that Home Goods always has them in so many different sizes. Um, they're basically these hollow rocks that are lined with an inner layer of colorful crystals and they look so beautiful around your home. You can put them on top of a coffee table book or inside of a tray next to a candle. And I just think they make your home decor look interesting and it's sort of a way to bring the outdoors in beyond adding plants and wood tones. Alright guys, well that is all I have for you today. I hope you guys like coming along with me to Home Goods. Let me know down in the comments if you saw anything in the store that you liked and would go back for. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!